250 Gemstones Culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. We are more than journalism. We are a revolution. Come on, come on, let's kick this door down and let everybody know we up in here. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News TV. I'm your host, Michael T. Porter, and I got another bomb episode for y'all. But before I begin, y'all hit that like button, subscribe button, that share button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping, pass me around, pass me around. Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media platforms, and y'all know how I feel about my chizzing. If you guys like to support the channel, Cash App, Dollar Sign Mike US. Also, check out my Spotify podcast. The link is in the description. This is a channel that represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. We need to talk. News flash, news flash, news flash. Women, you need to take your cheating boyfriend, fiance, or husband back. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And I'm gonna tell y'all why. One of the reasons that women do not take their cheating spouse, boyfriend, take their man back is because of the harsh criticism from society and their girlfriends. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Society says you are a weak woman if you don't take your man back. Your girlfriends shame you beautiful women for not trying to repair your home because he's a dog. Because there's always there's already a stigma about men. There's always there's already a, a, a deep-rooted hatred for men already. And he's already hated. He's a dog, he's a cheat. Male chauvinist, whatever you want to call it, toxic masculinity. So these creatures, men, are already hated, and then this creature does the the cardinal sin. He commits the cardinal sin, baby. He stepped out and got him a little ass on the side. And in the world of women, in this soft ass society, they're saying that it's a good thing for a woman to wreck her home if her man decides to get a little, a little something on the side. You understand what I'm saying? A little bit of mm mm, a little bit of back there. You understand what I'm saying? But here's the thing. You women, this is what this is why men and women are so different because as a man, I gotta calculate things. Why am I being celebrated for breaking up the family? Why isn't society and my girlfriends, especially the girlfriends, encouraging me to repair my relationship? Because the moment, because when like when a woman breaks down, she breaks down, she goes to a girlfriend, girl. <laughs> And, and all the girlfriends here were crying. Girl, what happened? Oh, what that nigga put his hands on you? That nigga put his hands on you. Let us know. We will pull up. We will pull up. No, no. He, he cheated on me. Oh, they going to friend. Cheating on a woman today is as equal as beating her ass up. It's actually pretty worse sometimes. What? He do what? Where is the bitch? Where is the bitch? Where is she? You deserve better, girl. You deserve better. Especially if she's married. Your husband, you took vows. You took vows. The vow said to death was part, not infidelity. Um, because God knows that a lot of us are trifling out here. A lot of us are trifling. So as these girls are hyping this girl up, you need to leave him, you need to leave him, and all this stuff, and oh, how long has it been going? I, said, I don't know, I think it's for some time. I went through his phone. Bing! You went through his phone? You were going through the man's phone, folks. See, in a woman's mind, especially if she's married, she has the right to go through your phone. I say, hell no. What's mine is mine, what's yours is yours. Some of our stuff is joint. Some of our stuff is private. Because then you begin to open up stuff you shouldn't have been opening up. This is what I'm saying. The wife went through the phone. She was searching for it. Seek and you will find. Okay, the man cheated. If you leave this man, this is what the women don't tell him. These, these, uh, these are the three reasons why your girlfriends need to watch 
and be very mindful when your girlfriends are encouraging to break up with your husband, with your man, with your fiance. Girl, you need to leave him. Girl, you need to leave him. So when they're saying this to these ladies, when they're saying this to the wife that just been cheating on, are they thinking about the kids? Are your girlfriends thinking about the kids? Are they thinking about how you're going to survive day to day because this man is paying most of the bills? The number one reason, not the number one, well, it's not in order, it's the top three reasons. The first reason, they want you to be lonely just like them ladies. I'm going to give y'all some game. Y'all probably already know this, but we're going to, if you do know, we're going to re-emphasize. A lot of your homegirls are looking for a reason for you to wreck your home and encourage you to wreck your home because they want you to be alone and miserable just like them. Oh yeah, that's what girl go ahead and divorce him. Girl, call off the wedding if y'all engaged. Girl, break up with his ass if y'all if y'all just at the boyfriend girlfriend stage. Break up with him. Break up with him. Cause that means there'll be more time for you guys to go shopping. That'll be more time for you and her to complain about the world and complain how you can't find a man when you already had a goddamn man, when you already had a fiance, when you already had a husband. You already had it. And you got some kids too. Is your girlfriend thinking about how this going to wreck the stability of the kid? She's like the she's encouraged encouraging you, the girl that's been cheated on. To ping pong your children. You'll go to your dad's house three days. You're gonna go to my house and then you're gonna ping pong, ping pong. Now our schedules conflict. Now, because we don't live in the same house, now there's more traveling involved. Is your girlfriend thinking about all this stuff before you make this big decision to leave and wreck your home? Mm -mm. Your girlfriend don't care because they want you to be lonely and miserable just like them. Lead to the second, the second. The second reason why girlfriends encourage their friend who's been cheated on to leave and wreck their home, they're jealous. They are jealous of you. They're jealous. They may smile in your face. They may, they may genuinely love you as a girlfriend. That's your girlfriend, that's your homegirl. Say Stacy's been cheating on and uh, uh, Jennifer is her best friend. And she will go to war. Jennifer will go to war for Stacy. Stacy's married. Stacy got kids. Stacy's going to school. She's getting on with life. She's building wealth. And, but deep down inside, Jennifer's lonely. Jennifer can't find a man. She's coming across bun, across buns, and Jennifer is jealous of Stacy. Now, Stacy's relationship with her husband has never been perfect. But this is the first time, you know, their relationship has faced some adversity. He's he's cheated on her. He cheated on her. Beautiful girl, he cheated on her with. Seen all the, uh, all the text messages, all the DMs, all the phone calls. It was it devastated Stacy, and this is Jennifer's chance to encourage her friend Stacy to wreck her home because back of her mind, it Jennifer doesn't feel like well, well, how come I can't? You know, Jennifer probably praying, and how come I can't find a good man? How come Stacy gets the house? How come Stacy gets the beautiful children? How come Stacy get a man? Even though he's cheating, she still got a man. How come I can't get a man to help me with my bills? Jealousy. And would lead to my third reason, major reason, why you women need to be careful about listening to your girlfriends when they tell you to wreck your home. This is the biggest reason. They want your spot. Now see, the second one, she's just jealous. She doesn't want Stacy's man. Jennifer doesn't want Stacy's man. Jennifer doesn't want her children. She wants her own. She's just jealous, like, why I can't have it? And that it goes back to the first reason. She wants Stacy to be alone. They, your girlfriends want you to be alone. Your girlfriends are jealous. And the ultimate reason, they want your spot. Not just being married to any man. No, 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 no. No, no, they want your man. Oh, I opened up a can of worms. They want your man. So let's say let's say another friend, uh, Stacy's the married woman that's been cheated on. Let's say uh, Heather. Oh, Heather's beyond jealous. Heather wants Stacy's actual spot. She wants to say her her husband is Brad. Stacy and Brad is married. Brad cheated on Stacy with another broad. Heather. Stacy's other friend, Heather, wants bread. She wants, <laughs> they will smile on your face, backstabbers. 
A lot of you ladies have backstabbers in your clique. So any, any, you need to be careful when you're telling your business to your girlfriends because that's her, because women are emotional. And even when a, uh, the most logical women, once you begin putting thoughts in the woman's mind, their fantasies run more wilder than the man. Men have fantasies, women have fantasies, but women's fantasies, they will do anything to try to turn that into reality or allow it to become reality. So the reality is Heather is telling uh, Stacy, go ahead and leave him. Just leave him. So, because as a man, I'm thinking, why are you pushing so hard for me to leave my old lady? My old lady cheated like, God damn. Or why are you pushing so hard for me to drink? Anytime, even if it's a friend or family that pushing me hard to do something, I've got to question why. But a lot of women don't question why. Why is my friend Heather encouraging me to get lawyers involved? To put my husband through uh, uh, the family court, alimony, taking half of what he got. Uh, uh, child support, putting him through all of this rigorous, and putting myself through it. You have to have strangers. You guys have to report to strangers in order to dictate the visitations. You're talking about visitation. You're talking about two homes. Now, both are in a position to where there's more money leaving the household because now there's two households. So let's say Brad was making 60K. Uh, Stacy was making thirty-five. Well, they're making ninety-five thousand dollars under one home. <laughs> under one home. But Heather, she finds out because Stacy told Heather conniving ass. Oh yeah, he uh, he cheated on me. Nah, this is Heather opportunity to sl uh, slide on in. This is Heather opportunity. Girl, divorce him, divorce him. Because Heather doesn't care about the family courts and having these strangers come around the truth. Are you okay? Is your daddy a good daddy? Now Brad has to prove to a stranger that he's fit to be around his own children. This is crazy. When you wreck your home, that's what's called wreck. There's nothing good when something's being wrecked. When you wreck a building, it's being demolished, it's being destroyed, it's being busted up, it's being bust down. It's called wreck, destroy. So don't look at it as Look at it as a next level. Why are your girlfriends encouraging you to destroy your household, destroy your family? They want you to be alone. They're jealous. And the ultimate conniving, ultimate reason, they want your actual spot. They want your husband. They want your, they want your house. They want your husband. They want your lifestyle. Because it's okay that Brad, because when you was telling your girlfriends about how good Brad is and how Brad does this, how Brad does that. And they know Brad. Yo, be careful when your girlfriends come around your husband too, or your man, or your fiance. A lot of your girlfriends want your spot. A lot of your girlfriends want you to be a lonely like them. A lot of your girlfriends are jealous. So I say, go work it out with your husband. Figure out why he's cheating. How his sex drive. Y'all been arguing, this and that. Figure out why he's cheating before you make that ultimate reason. Because I believe you can be repaired. I believe you can be repaired. But you ladies need to watch your homegirls. You ladies, once again, need to watch your homegirls because they're coming for your spot. Wrecking your home, breaking up the family is a huge, huge decision. Think about it. 250, y'all flood my comments. Y'all flood my comments. Y'all let me know. Should... Women in relationships allow their girlfriends to influence their decisions on breaking up the family. 250, capital G News, I'm gone.